Find better hobbies. Find better things to do. Like worrying about yourself first. That's something you could work on. Hi, Sunshine. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I did not plan on filming today, so that is why you see this, like, makeshift spread. I have fries, onion rings, corn dogs. I couldn't remember what those were for a second. <laughs> and chicken nuggets. So, I'm making this video because I needed to talk about something today. Because something happened today. And I'm just very agitated and it annoyed me and I have to talk about it. And the thing is, I might get a lot of hate for this opinion and honestly, I don't care. Um, it's my opinion. It's what I think. I stand by it. And if you don't like it, then to each their own. Okay, so let's just get started. <sighs> I was scrolling on TikTok today, okay? And it happened a couple times. I came across this chat, oh, uh, channel. I came across this girl and she had posted something about like her boyfriend. And she is plus size herself and her partner is not, um, he's smaller. And, I was going, I was just like looking at the comments because I like to like, because sometimes like the funny videos, they have super funny comments. So I was like, oh, like it's cute. They're cute. So I wanted to see what people are saying and I'm clicking on it. And like, as you're scrolling, you can see people be like, oh, like, like how much did she pay him for that? You know, to be with her and like, oh, I, I wonder how much that cost. And like talking about him, like being attracted to her, like, like a kink or whatever. And I was like, annoyed, okay? But I was like, whatever, I'm gonna keep it scrolling. Like, y'all don't pass the vibe check, whatever. So then, a couple videos down, I run into a guy who, it's like one of those trends. I don't know if you guys are like on TikTok or whatever, but there's this trend where it like says something and then there's like a door shutting noise. So like, you're like, oh, let's, let's see behind what <laughs> I told you every time I'm like annoyed though. I'm kind of like annoyed right now and he did. So I'm trying to like calm down, not talk too fast. Cause when I'm annoyed, I'm like, so <sighs> it's like, let's see what's behind this door. Um, he opened the door and it said big girls and he walked through the door and the door shut really quickly. You know, like he's going for big girls, right? So stupid me, I was like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check the comments on this video, you know, just be a nosy, whatever. Mm. Crispy. So, like the top comment, the most liked comment on that video was this person commenting and they were like, oh, you know that he's just doing this for likes, right? And everyone's like underneath it, like, yeah, like no cap, 100%, who do you You know what? No, that right there annoys me so much because why, why do people have the mentality that people just can't like big people? It's like somewhere in some people's brains, they cannot fathom somebody liking someone plus size. Like it can't be real. It must be a joke. It must be a kink. You know, it's it's trendy. Liking a big person, liking a plus size person is not a trend. It's not a kink. And you saying that type of stuff and making those comments, plus size people are going to see those comments and they're going to think like, wow, this person, like if anyone approaches them who likes them, they're going to think, wow, you know, maybe they don't like me. Maybe they're doing it because they want a couple likes on their Instagram or, you know, they want a couple more followers on their TikTok. Maybe they're just doing it because they just, you know, it's a, a kink, you know, and, you know, they just, they're, they're a feeder, you know, like that crazy. 
stop, stop posting. Stop telling people that if they like a plus size person, it must be a kink. It must be, you know, they're doing it for clicks. They're doing it for clout. They want to blow up. No, no. You can like a plus size person and just like them, you know? It was just, it's so annoying. It really is. And I know that people are going to comment and say like, oh, you know, talk about skinny people getting hate too. And I know they do. Okay. I know they do. I'm not saying that skinny people don't get hate. But right now, I'm addressing this situation that I saw, this issue that I saw. And in the same sense, like, when have you ever seen someone comment on like a skinny person's video and be like, like... When have you seen a person, guy or girl, or whoever, post something about, oh, I like skinny girls. And then people are like, oh, like, you know, they're just doing that for likes. You know, you know that they're just doing that for, for a trend, for, because it's a kink. Like, what? Why? It, that just doesn't happen. You know, it's, at least as far as I've seen, I've never seen someone make a kink or a trend out of liking someone who wasn't plus size. I've never seen that. And I mean, maybe it is out there and I just haven't run into it yet, but I haven't seen it. So please don't think that I only think that plus size people are the ones who get hate. Because I know that they're not. I know that whether you're fat, skinny, whatever, you get hate on. But that type of stuff, I feel like just doesn't happen when you're not plus size, like certain situations. You know what I mean? Like that right there. I've never seen that with like in regards to someone who's not plus size. And it's just so frustrating. And it makes me think like, because I'm plus size myself, obviously. You guys can clearly see that. But it just makes me think like, like if I was, if I was a different person, if I was who I was a few years ago, like so insecure and I still am you know what I mean I still get self-conscious I still get insecure but if I was still the same person that I was five six years ago like seeing that type of stuff would absolutely traumatize me and every single person who ever talked to me I would think that they were just doing it you know for those types of reasons not because it was sincere not because it was genuine because god forbid someone could like me because I was a little fat or a lot fat or whatever you know what is that type of what what planet do you live on what world do you live in I, that you can't fathom someone liking someone plus size it always has to have like ulterior motives they can't just like a plus size person because they like them I don't know, you guys. I don't know. It's probably like, I'm probably blowing this out of proportion. It's probably not a big deal, whatever, but. It is a big deal, though. It is, because people are going to see that. People who do have insecurities and whatever, they're going to see that. And that's exactly how they're going to feel, that nobody is going to like them for who they are. Because they're bigger, because they're plus size. And that's disgusting. That is a disgusting thing to put in people's heads. Like, don't do that type of shit. <sighs> Sorry, guys. I had to take a water break. <laughs> because I was getting heated. Because I'm annoyed. At the end of the day, you guys. Just leave people alone. Stop making comments about people's weight. Just leave it alone. Why do you care? Why are you so worried? Like, what compels you to make those type of comments? Do you, do you feel better now that you made a comment like that? Like, does your day depend and rely on you making comments about other people's weight or other people's choices or other people's what they like? Like, Find better hobbies. Find better things to do. Like worrying about yourself first. 
That's something you could work on. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm just really annoyed. Like, truly. Like I said, this is a totally unexpected video. I didn't plan on filming anything today. That's always my favorite bit right there. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I didn't plan on filming anything today. I was just gonna like chill and hang out today, but I saw that and I was just like so annoyed, you know? And I was like, I need to talk about this. Like I need to vent about it because it's annoying. Point blank period, that's what it is. It's annoying. And I was like, well, I'll talk to my YouTube family about it. I mean, and maybe people won't agree with my opinion. And maybe I'll get a lot of hate for this, but like, cool. It's just like, my thing is, like I said, liking a plus size person is not a kink. It's not a trend. I just can't fathom. I just, I couldn't fathom. I couldn't fathom having that mentality. I'm so glad I don't. I don't know. Sorry guys. <laughs> Those onion rings are really good. They're super crunchy. Yeah, I needed something just like quick that I could like throw in the oven or make really quickly. Because I was like heated in the moment. I was like, I need to talk about this right now. <laughs> so, just took like, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes, whatever. And I didn't really have anything else in my house that I felt like eating. So, I was like, yeah. Frozen food it is. Frozen snacks. And before people are like, oh, like, I'm sure it was just a joke. Like, those are just all jokes. They're all fun. Those types of jokes are not funny. Like, making jokes at the expense of other people is just gross. You know what I mean? Like, especially something that so many people are, like, insecure or self-conscious about. And people are like, oh, just lose weight. People won't make jokes about you. Please grow up, grow up, go away. You think that magically, okay, this is, this is funny too. I'm just going at it today, you guys. <laughs> Cause I think about this too, when I get these comments and I'm just like, <laughs> when people comment and they're like, oh, you're fat. Oh, you have a double chin. Yes, I sure do. I sure do. She's out in all her glory. Yes, I am fat. People are like, oh, you need to lose weight. Oh, you need to lose weight. You're fat. You know what? You're so right. So tomorrow morning when I wake up because you left that comment, I'm magically going to be skinny. I'm magically not going to be fat because you told me that I needed to lose weight. What compels you to make those types of comments? What does it? Does it make you feel better? Does it make me feel better? No. But obviously you're not thinking about my feelings when you leave those comments. But whatever. But it's just like, and I, I, I learned this a long time ago and I can't remember who told me, but someone, and I'm sure you guys have heard about it too. I'm sure it's not like, you know, a unique thing, but it's like, if you, if the person can't fix whatever it is right away, immediately, don't make a comment about it. Like if I had something on my face or something on my pants or something, and you told me about it. Okay, cool. I can fix that immediately. You know what I mean? So I'm not embarrassed walking around with tissue hanging on my butt or whatever. But making comments about things that I physically cannot change in two seconds. Like what? For why? For, for what? <sighs> yeah, I magically all of a sudden, because you said I'm fat and that I need to lose weight, I'm going to magically lose weight now. And I'll be skinny for you tomorrow. Please. Save those comments 
I would have said, I was just about to say, save those comments for a different channel because I'm not the one. But save those comments for no one. Save them for yourself if you want to save them. If you want to leave those comments, leave them for yourself. Because nobody else wants to hear them. Just saying. I'm sorry, you guys. And I am not in any way trying to, like, send some, like, bad vibes right now. And if I am, I'm so sorry. Like, that's not... I'm just so annoyed. I'm frustrated. I'm hurt. I'm hurt for every plus size person out there who's going to see that video or who hasn't or someone who's going to experience that type of feeling or those types of comments. Like, just go away. Just, just leave people alone. Just leave them alone. Let them live. I don't know. I'm running low on sauce here. I do know that. <laughs> mm, you guys. Just as like a side note too. If you're one of those type of people who say that kind of stuff because you do think it's trendy you do think that more people are gonna like you on instagram and tiktok because you know you like the big girls you must be 15 i don't know because grown people don't do that actually that's the sad part they do i don't know it's just so gross to me it really is it's just like I'm at a loss for words. I'm like completely speechless now because I just went on, on a big rant and I'm just like at a loss for words. Just leave people alone. Let people like who they want to like. Why does it matter? Like, like that's it, you know? Just leave people alone. I don't know, you guys. <laughs> I was fine today. I was perfectly fine in D&D. I was just chilling, and then I saw that, and I was like, no. There's no way I'm not going to say anything, because I'm just completely fed up. Because I can't even tell you how many times I've seen those types of comments. Like, it's not like this is, like, the first time, and I'm just, like, outraged by it. It's literally just been years and years and years of all of this just, like, piling on top of each other. And finally, I was like, no. Like, I'm done. This is bullshit. I can't. I just can't. And am I really going to make a difference? Of course not. Shitty people are going to be shitty people. Regardless of what I think. You know? They don't care what I think. I'm just another patso to them. <laughs> okay, cool. You know what I mean? I know that what I say isn't going to make a difference. But I just need to talk about it. As a plus size person myself, I know the type of damage that those comments can make. And it's just not necessary. It's not needed. People are mean enough to themselves as it is. We can be so cruel to ourselves. You know, it takes a long time to learn and adjust and be in a position and in a mind state where we're kind to ourselves. Every person that you know is struggling with something everybody every single person okay and the last thing that people need is someone making them feel like their body and who they are isn't validated like there's got to be a justification there's got to be a reason nobody can like you because you're you that that can't be the reason why someone's attracted to you of course not not if you're plus size you know i don't know And I just want to put it out there that you can be loved. You are beautiful and perfect and wonderful exactly as you are. You're phenomenal, incredible. And there are going to be people out there 
who would be so lucky, lucky to even be graced with your, your presence, to even know you, okay? So don't listen to these stupid ass people telling you that someone could only like you because it's trendy or because it's a kink or whatever the reason is. Oh, don't listen to that. I know it's hard not to, but trust and believe me when I tell you that you are beautiful, wonderful, incredible, phenomenal. Don't listen to that. <laughs> no. Sorry guys, I just had to go on a little bent there, a little rant, so I apologize. Like I said, I really hope this video doesn't give you like bad vibes or anything. That's totally not what I was aiming for. <sighs> I just needed to let it out, <laughs> you know? Okay guys, that's gonna be the end of this video. Um, if you did enjoy this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below for me. I'm sorry I went off the rails. <laughs> went a little crazy. It's just something I'm passionate about, something I truly, strongly believe in and you bet your ass I'm gonna say something. Cool. Anyways, <laughs> share this video with your friends if you feel like it. If you're not currently subscribed, please consider hitting the subscribe button along with the notification bell so you can be notified anytime I post an upload. Um, I love you guys so, so, so much. You guys are worth the entire world. Don't ever let anybody tell you different. You are worth the universe, okay? I love you. I love you, love you, love you. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.